What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to mark up and style the deleted and newly added text contents like this. So as you can see here, this one is the deleted one and this one is the newly added one. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Here I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. On line 18, I have a sentence and it's saying that HTML is the standard programming language for creating web pages. And this word, programming, is not correct because HTML is not a programming language. It is a markup language. So I'm going to add the correct word markup here. And this text programming will be deleted. Now, in order to let the user know which word is deleted and which word is newly added, we can use HTML delete tag to mark up the deleted word programming and use HTML insert tag to mark up the newly added word markup. So let's mark up the deleted word programming first. The opening delete tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, D, E, L and right angle bracket. And a closing delete tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, D, E, L and right angle bracket. Now let's do the newly added word markup. The opening insert tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, I, N, S and right angle bracket. And a closing insert tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, I, N, S and right angle bracket. Now I'm going to save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, the deleted word programming now has a line throw on it and newly added word markup is underlined. But we can make them look better by applying a little style. So let's flip back into the editor. Okay, inside the head tag, I'll create a style tag. The opening style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, style and right angle bracket. And the closing style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, style and right angle bracket. I'll also add type attribute on the opening style tag like this, type equal, its value is text forward slash and CSS. Now let's write some CSS codes inside this style tag. First, let's style the deleted word. For the selector, I'll put DEL because I want to select the delete tag. Space and I open up the curly brace. Inside here, I'll declare background color property like this. Background hash color colon and its value is hash ffcdd2 and it's semicolon. This is a hex color code for light red. So this block of CSS codes will tell the browser that find the text content marked up with delete tag and change its background color to light red. Now let's style the newly added word. For the selector I'll put INS because I want to select the insert tag space and then I'll open up the curly brace inside here first I'll declare a background color property like this background color colon and its value is hash C8 E6 C9 and semicolon. This is a hex color code for light green and after that I'll declare a text decoration property like this text dash decoration colon and its value is none. Now I'll put semicolon. This will remove the underline from text content. So this block of CSS codes will tell the browser that 
find the text content marked up with insert tag and change its background color to light green. Also, remove the underline from it. Now I'm gonna save this and let's flip back into the browser and see how they look. I'll just reload this page. Okay, it worked. As you can see, the deleted word now has light red background color, plus there's a line through on it. And the newly added word has a light green background color without underline. And definitely this looks much better than the previous one. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.